The first page on the Clarimate app is the note display app, which allows you to see the notes you're playing, as well as the name of that note, and the common fingering for that note. The second tab on the Clarimate app is the training tab. This allows you to train your Clarimate to recognize the notes of your clarinet. We recommend doing your own training to get the best performance out of your Clarimate. You can see on the training tab the percentage of quality of recognition of the notes and you want this percentage to be as high as possible for every single note. If you notice that a note has quite a low percentage, you can retrain it. Press the start training button and then train. And then what you'll do is you'll select the note that you want to train, hold the fingering for that note on your clarinet, and then you blow once to activate the training. And you'll see on the top left of the app, there will be a red light that turns on that tells you that the clarimate is recording that fingering. So let's train E2. When the clarimate has trained one note, it will automatically move to the next note. And you can choose to train a whole chromatic scale this way, or just to train certain notes you want by selecting them with the selection wheel. Once you're done training the notes on your clarimate, you can hit finish training and the app will offer you to save the training set to your device. Click OK, choose a name and hit save. The training set is automatically saved to your clarimate. And so you can switch between different training sets for different clarinets that you have. For example, if you play a B flat and an A clarinet, they might need different training sets for all the notes to be recognized properly. If you want to reload a training set into your Clarimate, go to the training tab and then click on the load save button. Select the training set that you want to reload into your Clarimate and then hit the load button. This might take a little bit of time. The third tab in the Clarimate app is the synth controls tab. This allows you to set the Clarimate volume, to transpose your Clarimate, or to set the level of the stimulus noise. So the Clarimate volume can be set by changing the volume on the wheel. It can also be set using the Clarimate's volume buttons. The transpose option lets you select between different transposition presets, the bass clarinet, A clarinet, B flat clarinet, C clarinet, and E flat clarinet. So you select a preset, and then click the load button to automatically load the transposition into your clarimate. And then if you select, for example, a bass transposition, you'll be able to play on your B flat or A clarinet in a bass tonality. This is great for practicing bass or E-flat parts on a B-flat clarinet, for example. The stimulus volume option is the little noise that you hear when you start the clarimate, and it's what allows the clarimate to detect the fingerings that you're playing. This noise can be set at different levels depending on the level of your environment. If you're playing in a very loud environment, you might want to raise the stimulus volume. If you're playing in a very quiet environment, you can lower the stimulus volume so that you can barely hear it. Make sure to always have it at the correct level so it can detect your fingerings properly. And note that all of these settings are saved every time that you change them into the Clarimate. So if you turn off your Clarimate and then play again later, it will have the same settings as what you set in the app. The fourth tab in the Clarimate app is the read and breath controls tab. This allows you to set your breath parameters 
to closely match your preference. So first, make sure that the breath sensitivity is set to 100 and that the breath threshold level is around 10. And then you can blow into your clarimate and you'll see your breath pressure reflected in the pressure barometer. If you find it much too easy to blow and to make a sound, you can lower the breath sensitivity to a level that makes it comfortable for you to blow. If, on the contrary, you find it too hard to make a sound, you can add the little breath adjuster plugs at the bottom of the clarimate tube, which will make it easier to blow and which will add resistance to the air. We have these plugs included with the clarimate in three different sizes to closely match your preference. So you can use the plugs and adjust the breath sensitivity as well as the breath threshold in order to fully match your own preferences of acoustic instruments. The Clarimate app also features a burger menu with some additional settings. In the Android and iOS apps, it features the language selection as well as some power options, which lets you set the audio turn-off time and the device power-off time. This is the amount of time when your Clarimate is idle before first the stimulus sound is turned off and then the device is completely powered off. You can also see the About options, which give you some information such as the app version as well as the firmware version.